going to do is I'm going to take out e to the L over 2 on top and bottom. In that case, what I get is e to the L over 2 minus e to the minus L over 2 divided by e to the L over 2 um, plus e to the minus L over 2. Does anybody know what this is? It's a special function. It's the hyperbolic tangent. So this is equal to expected value of x hat. This is equal to, um, let me just write this, tan h of x is equal to e to the x minus e to the minus x divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x. So therefore, expected value of x hat is equal to tan h of L over 2, the log likelihood ratio over 2. Excuse me. Yes. I just want to write it. Which is equal to which? In that P0 is equal to both P to the L and. Uh, Sorry, this is separate. So, oh, that's the expected value on the right. On the right, that's it. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Back here. This means all of these we have log likelihood ratios associated with. So this means um, tan h of L out over 2 is equal to product of u a equals 1 to dc minus 1 of tan h lj over 2. These are all the inbound messages, remember. So remember, let me redraw this. dc minus 1 of these, l1, l2, up to lj, and then we have l out. So, so we know that, what we know is that tan h of L out over 2 is equal to the product from j equals 1 to dc minus 1 of Lj over 2, <coughs> tan h Lj over 2. So all we need to do now is solve for L out. Um, this is equal to 2 times arc tan h, in other words, tan h inverse, of the product from j equals 1 to dc minus 1 of tan h lj over 2. <clears throat> so isn't that nice? We boiled down our um, we boiled down LDPC decoding to the following two operations. variable with incoming messages L1, L2, and so on, up to LDB minus 1, L out, and also from the channel LC, L out is equal to LC plus the sum of the inbound messages. really all there is to it. So basically, um, if, you, uh, if I give you a 
parity check matrix for an LDPC code. Um, you can then form the factor graph, and then you can uh, pass some product messages this way. Now there's only one thing left to talk about, 